last night I put my hair to bed with a French braid and a fan bun up top. No tension on my roots and making sure that I keep my ends protected. I also applied ends butter to my ends to make sure that they stayed safe throughout the night. So what I'm doing now is sectioning out the center portion. Um, I'm just trying to make my you know half up half down a little bit more interesting. So now that I've got those pieces separate, I'm going to separate well, first I'm going to detangle, put a couple pumps of carrot patch in my palm, rub my hands together to warm it up, and then apply it to the length of my hair. Then I gently detangle using my paddle brush because I want this section to be completely smooth and ready for styling. I'll use a rat tail comb and separate the sections. They can create in four sections just so that they're already separated and I don't really have to work in the middle of styling to make those sections. So divide it in two and tie a knot. And make sure they're completely smooth because you don't want to create tangles just for the sake of making a cute style. And so then separate into two sections, add on the two pieces from the top, and again make a knot. Make sure they're completely smooth and repeat this two more times. This is my first time ever trying this style, so <laughs> um, I think it turned out for the first time. I mean, practice makes perfect. It'll get better as I keep trying it, but hey, for the first time, I ain't even mad. It was super easy to do. I mean, you're literally just like tying your shoes. You're just tying a knot into the top of your hair. So I'm going to clip this out of the way using a crocodile clip. And I like the crocodile clips a lot more than the um, jaw clips. I find that um, it's easier for me to get them in and out of my hairs and you don't have to worry about the little teeth getting caught or anything like that. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to connect the outer two sections with the center section that's with the knots using a um, silicone ponytail holder. And if you see my uh, video about safe ponytail and bunning, uh, you can get more details on how I apply them and why I choose to use them. But so there you see it, the knotted section, and I'm just gonna fluff those um, knots up so that they're not so flat to my head and give it some depth and dimension. And now that I've got my little tiny itty bitty bun maker, I put it on, waterfall, I wanted to smooth it out because, you know, usually I'm used to all that hairs being the same length, but because I had to twist, they're kind of different lengths. So I just smoothed it down with the board bristle brush. And now I'm wrapping it around the bun maker. Whoever invented bun makers, like, they are the real MVP. I appreciate them so much because my hair, you know, it's like thick, but it doesn't have a lot of uh, thickness. I know that sounds crazy, but. I don't know, I have a lot of hair, but when it comes down to making buns and stuff, they're just really not as full as I would like for them to be. So the bun maker helps me get the volume and keep my hair looking natural. All right, so now I'm just securing that down with the bobby pins. And you go through and just make any tweaks. Check the symmetry, check to see if there's any gaps or if the bun maker is actually showing. That's happened before, like where I thought I had it, my hair all wrapped around it, but uh, nope, there was a little bit of section left. Okay, so yep, I'm liking the way that's looking. Woo -woo. And now it's time to move on to the back. So I found this little comb. It has like a razor in the back. And it makes it so easy to take off those little tiny rubber bands. I mean, you can really snatch your hair. You can rip your hair. You can pull your hair. If you're using scissors, you can accidentally cut your hair. But what I find is that using the little tip, I can really just cut only the rubber band. And then it pops right off. So that makes it easy. If you can find one at Walgreens, make sure you pick one up. And I gently de um, debraid, haha. I de uh, gently um, let loose my French braid. And then before doing anything to manipulate it, I'm going to add two more pumps of carrot patch to my palms, warm it up, and then smooth it onto the length and my ends. Now I want this back section of my hair to be huge. I want it huge. I want a lot of volume. I want it to look big and fluffy and puffy. So I'm just 
very simply um, able to glide my fingers through because the ingredients of the carrot patch oil are so, so, so lubricating to my strands. They're all natural and nothing synthetic. So then, but it does kind of make your hands slippery, so I kind of almost dropped the Tangle Tamer um, or the Tangle Teaser. I get them confused. But whichever one this is, you know, it kind of slipped out of my hands. So, yep, this is it, the finished look. I absolutely love it. And if you like this makeup look, you can check out my five minute makeup routine. This is the final look. Big hair, don't care. The side view, it just changes up the look of the half up, half down. Put a few knots in the front. And uh, let me know what you think of this style. Would you try it? Have you tried it? If you have any tips on how to make it better, let me know.